CAP theorem states that only two of the three properties, that is consistency, availability, and partition tolerance can be concurrently attained by a distributed system. Before further explanation, we need to know how NoSQL systems work. It stores data in distributed system. So we take data as playing cards and few servers. We then separate the suites and duplicate the data. This process is called as replication. But then we shuffle the data and place them on different nodes. This process is called as shodaying. First property in CAP theorem is consistency. Consistency means that all users see the same data at the same time, no matter which node they connect to. Next is availability. Availability means that any user making a request for data always gets a valid response, even if one or more nodes are down. Last property is partition tolerance. This simply means that the system must continue to work despite any number of communication breakdowns between nodes. However if all nodes have any breakdown, then system would go under total failure. Remember that the database can have all the properties at the same time. However when there is network failure, you have to choose any of the two properties depending on the requirement.